Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength on today. Will you stand to your feet and help me make a joyful noise? Come on, all of the youth as you prepare today to minister to us, will all of the youth stand? Will everyone stand and just begin to clap your hands in this place? Happy Resurrection! Today is the day that we get to boast of our Lord like never before. Open up your worship and give Him praise. Father, we honor you on today because you live. Hey, I can face tomorrow. Come on, look at somebody and tell them no matter what is going on in your tomorrow, can I tell you He already has plans for you to live plans for you to prosper, plans for you to swell in his presence. Somebody say, because he lives. I don't hear nobody. Oh, this head ain't going to make it. Say, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Come on, if that's your testimony, one more time, give God a thunderous shout in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you remain standing, hallelujah, I believe we're ready. We're going to receive now. Uh, as our bishop and leaders process in on this morning. And we're going to ask that you all help us create an atmosphere. Somebody say, at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light, the burdens of my heart rolled away. Somebody say, it was there by faith. I received my sight. Somebody say, but now, yo, come on here, say, but now I am happy all the day.
on in this house, if you come to worship him, I dare you to open your mouth and give him a worship, give him, give him a praise, give him, give him thanksgiving in this room. Come on! Somebody just shout, worthy, worthy! Somebody shout, worthy! He's worthy! Yes, 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 yes. Look down your road. And while you're looking down your road, begin to give God a praise. Because what you're looking at when you look down your road is evidence of our risen Savior. Yes! Come on, shout, he lives. Y'all quiet. Shout, he lives. Because he lives in me. Y'all gonna get me started early. Come on, just, just look at your neighbor and, and, and look him intently in the eyes and say, neighbor, you're at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. Tell them, shout, it's Resurrection Sunday. He got up. He got up. So glad, so glad, so glad. So glad, so glad, uh, so glad, Ryan Patrick Parker, so glad he got up. Woo. 
to God be the glory. Hey. To God be the honor. Did anybody feel the Lord in this room? I dare you to throw your head back one more time and shout, Glory! All right. Ooh. All right, I'm going to yield. Our youth team has a presentation they'd like to uh, would like to in, enter into to encourage every believer in this house. Hallelujah. Anybody excited about who Jesus is? Okay, for real. Anybody for real excited about who Jesus We got to make sure we fill up all these rows right here. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, ask your neighbor, do you know who he is? You know who he is. You're going to celebrate today. You don't, you don't have on any grave clothes. That's why I told y'all to come in bright colors. Because he is not. I'm on the. He's alive. Did you hear what I just said? He's alive. On because I might not stop. Collect, come on, give God praise for Minister Collect, whoever is going to be leading us in this next iteration in our worship.
stormy days and my rainy days. You don't know all the tears I've cried, the things I've kept bottled up inside. Trying my best to be strong. Waiting on God and holding on. You don't know what I had to endure. And you wonder why I'm so sure. Cause my father never lets me down. Situation didn't change. Never changed. But it was just when I felt like it was the end. You came and you did it again. Ricky and Matt knelt to a cross. Each of his followers monitoring his life. Set down from on high, placed in a cave. Unmovable stone in front of his grave. Roman soldiers guard the Solomon room. Rejecting attempts to enter the tomb. Sealed so no one could slip. Cross's body which had a great appearance. Then on the third day Mary could not believe. Inside the cave nobody to grieve. On Sunday he was seen and it was said. Now God has raised his son from the dead. Jesus is alive for us. Thank you, Jesus.
knocking at my door today. I ain't gonna let it in. I'm gonna tell my joy away. I ain't gonna let it win. On my best day, I'm a child of God. On my worst day, I'm a child of God. Oh, every day is a good day. And you're the reason why I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Got this heartbeat in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. I got you, Lord. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. And the problems that I see almost fall to mine. And it's out of the way you're good to me. You got to tell those they are. I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Got this heartbeat in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. I got you, Lord, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Got this heartbeat in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. I got you, Lord, I'm so blessed. Whether it's your best day, your worst day, some Tuesday, or your birthday. Every day's a good day, so let me tell you why. If you got air in your lungs, you got blood in your body, you are a child of God. Come on and sing it, somebody. Uh, best day, I'm a child of God. On my worst day, I'm a child of God. Oh, every day is a good day. And you're the reason why I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Got this heart beating in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. Got you, Lord, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Got this heart beating in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. I got you, Lord, I'm so blessed. Blessed day, I'm a child of God on my worst day. I'm a child of God, oh, every day is a good day. And you're the reason why I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed. Got this heart beating in my chest. No, it doesn't matter about the rest. I got you, Lord, I'm so blessed. Blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed.
you declare that Jesus saves. Jesus saves. From the cross to the grave. How many of you have that testimony that Jesus saves? Come on, if that's really your testimony, give him a, a safe kind of praise. Wow. Come on, let's celebrate these young people. Wow, thank you. Amen. Tremendous blessing. That was amazing. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Uh, to each of you, our father's children, we're so thankful again for you being here and being present on this Resurrection Sunday. Somebody shout to God be the glory. Amen. Uh, the first thing that we'd like to do is recognize all of our visitors, individuals that are uh, even not members here, you're uh, visiting. Uh, amen. We ask that you would please stand in this room. Uh, take a moment. We'd like to celebrate you as well. 
Amen. Come on, to each of our visitors. Hallelujah. Eagles, let's come on, give God praise for all of our visitors. Bless you. Thank God for you this morning. I honor God you can be seated in the presence of the Lord. We celebrate the fact that you're here and you're sharing with us in this worship experience. We indeed count it a privilege that you have opted to share with us on Resurrection Sunday. It is indeed a blessing to have you here. Uh, a special uh, amen recognition of my brother, my friend, uh, and his wife. Amen, Pastor Danny Moore. Amen. And amen, Lady Moore. I love you. I thank you. I thank God for you, man. He is certainly a, a, a blessing in my life. And I'm just thankful for the fact that God uh, so fit to have them share as well with us. It is a good thing, uh, amen, to have them in the midst, uh, amen, of our, uh, amen, our worship. To God be the glory. Uh, will you help me celebrate Lady Tiffany? Amen. Bless the Lord. And uh, th during this entire month of uh, March, what we've done, and this is the culmination of our Women uh, in History Month, uh, amen. And so on today, we acknowledge one that is, uh, amen, an engineer in her own right. Uh, not only an engineer, but she's a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, uh, amen. But even more importantly than that, she's the first lady of Eagles Nest <laughs> Cathedral International. Will you help me celebrate Lady Tiffany Richardson? Amen. Amen. You are the woman in history for today. I'm not adding anybody else. I'm just celebrating. Amen. That which God has given to me, to God be the glory. Honor God for you this morning. Uh, amen. You are a phenomenal lady. She gave me her resume when I asked her about information regarding <laughs> amen she gave me she gave me this 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 is what i do amen and cutting through the chase we just thank god most importantly she, she serves as the lady of this house and we honor god for that and we give him praise um amen i thank god for my son and his wife amen uh, Elder Reverend Dr. Pastor Michael Elliott Rice and Rebecca Rice. Y'all stand. I love y'all so much. They're getting ready to do a new work. And he knows we are divinely con connected and in covenant. And I'm just so thankful for what God is beginning uh, with you and in you. Uh, amen. Put your hands to the wheel and don't look back, son. To God be the glory. Come on, celebrate them. Remnant. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. Amen. I just honor God for the fact that, amen, we are divinely connected and not even death can keep us apart. Uh, one other thing I want to make mention of, um, uh, Final Four. The University of Alabama. <laughs> for the first time ever made it uh, Deacon Corey Heider to the Final Four. Can we celebrate? Amen. <laughs> Listen, even if you're not a fan or all of that, amen, just, you know, just congratulate and keep it moving. All right, I'm not going to rub it in because I heard somebody say, you on borrow time. <laughs> Come on, Tanika, where she at? Where she at? <laughs> She said, me? <laughs> Amen. So we honor God for that. We honor God for the fact that he really, uh, he really is good. He's really better than good to, uh, to me, to us, uh, to this house, and to, to this people. Again, uh, it is Resurrection Sunday. Um, I'm not going to, to delay or belabor uh, the moment. I'm going to yield the floor now. Uh, amen. To Pastor Katrina, we'll get one more praise and worship, and then we'll move forward uh, with the lifting of our offerings. Uh, amen. First fruit was indicated as well, and we want to begin, uh, amen, moving in that direction, and then we'll give a word uh, for everyone uh, that would be beneficial and strengthen your resolve in this call for labor. Amen. With that, come on, give God praise for Pastor Katrina Smith. Oh, Ryan Patrick Parker. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about that. We'll get back to it. 
Glory to the Father. Come on, will you give God some praise in this place? Hallelujah. We just want to praise and worship the Father this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, just a little bit more than that. Can you just lift up the name of Jesus in this place? Father, we honor you in this place. Hallelujah. Because he came from heaven to earth to show us all the way. From the earth to the cross, our debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Somebody say, Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, will you clap your hands with us today? It is the joy of the Lord that keeps us moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Let's go on and move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, y'all clap with me. I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. Anybody glad? I'm so glad you came to save us. One voice, say, Lord. Lord, I lift your name on high. Anybody come to lift him today? Say, I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Let's say it one more time. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hey, I know y'all know it. Say, Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. Yes, I am, God. I'm so glad you came to save us. Come on. You came, you came, you came. Hey, the resurrected king 
So the resurrected king is resurrecting me. Come on, give him praise for that. Come on. Amen. Amen, amen. Uh, another, uh, I wanted to make mention of, you can be seated again. Uh, thank God for um, little Joseph. Where's Josiah and Gabe? They st Y'all stand. They were in a tournament this weekend all weekend long. And they did not lose a game. They're champions. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe and Josiah got their gold ring. Not the bishop's ring, but a gold ring like the bishop's ring. Amen. So, amen. I honor God for the fact that they are, were resilient, especially the last game. And they came out champions. Amen. And we thank God for that as well. Uh, amen. Um, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. How many of you know that it is more blessed to give than to receive? Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Men will give into your bosom. Before I do that, I want to make mention, my son Daniel last year was here. Uh, amen. And he wasn't really, you know, he wasn't really here. And the enemy tried to take him out. Uh, shot twice. But he survived. Y'all better praise God with me. Because what the enemy meant for bad, God turned it around for your good. You're not here because you were that good, but you're here a year later because God is good. Now you better stand. Let, go, go on and let him st stand. Stand. He doesn't look like what he been through. He still has aches, he still has pains, but he's alive. Turn to your neighbor, said neighbor, he will keep you. Did you hear me? He'll keep you. <laughs> so on Resurrection Sunday, a year later, to the day, he's a testament of the miracle working power of God. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, he still works miracles. He still, he still works miracles. He still makes a way out of no way. He still will pick you up. He still will protect you. Give, give your neighbor a high five, say, he'll keep you. He'll keep you. That was the wrong neighbor. Give the other neighbor a high five, say, he'll keep you. He'll keep you. Give him your best praise again. Woo! You want to say something? 
Now, Daniel can talk for real. <laughs> for real, for real. But he said he ain't going to say it ain't, it, not, not yet. Okay, man, okay. Come on, y'all give God praise one more time. Love you, son. Is there any more testimony? I just want to do one testimony. Can it, I know it's resurrection. Can we do that? I'm not going to hold Frank, we're going to leave in 15 minutes. <laughs> Frank looking at the watch. Okay, Bishop. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I'm going to be up and out. <laughs> any others? Any other? One more testimony. Anybody? You got something that you'd like to share? Well, Deacon Stowe, come on, give, give, now this is a preacher right here, by the way. He ain't going to take 15 minutes, though, come on. I'm going to pull on his coat, but he got a testimony. Come on, give God praise for Deacon Willie Stokes. Hallelujah, church. <laughs> Hallelujah, church. Happy resurrection. Uh, I was <clears throat> diagnosed diagnosed or uh, been in an accident back in March of 2023. And during that accident, I had a contusion on my right thigh. I went to my primary doctor and uh, he me took a measurement of the uh, contusion. I went back to him and the contusion was still there. Okay. Uh, he recommended that I go to a surgeon, went to a surgeon, and they did a biopsy, and it came back positive. I had uh, a, a, a Sonoma. I don't know if medical personnel in here. Sonoma is a aggressive cancer. Sonoma in my right thigh, and uh. So they did surgery on me um, on the 27th of uh, December. During that time frame, and 31 December, I retired. Thank God. I retired. About January 5th or 6th, they called me after doing the surgery and told me that you cancer free. cancer-free. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you, Lord. Y'all can do better than yeah. that. He says he's cancer-free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cancer has been Hallelujah. evicted. Hallelujah. No longer Hallelujah. is welcome. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. And I just want to thank my church family for all the prayers and all the, uh, just the prayers y'all sent out, sent up for me. I love you. Love my bishop. He told me it's going to be all right. When I went, right before I went, he said, what are they going to do? I said, they're going to clean it up, check me out, send me back home. He said, you all right? Amen. Thank, thank God for prayer. Prayer works. You hear me? Prayer works. Amen. Prayer works. Thank you, D. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise for him. All right. Prayer does work. Thank you, D. Thank God for that healing. Um, amen. Uh, we won't do youth um, uh, youth church today uh, to Gabe's uh, chagrin. Uh, he said, uh, Dad, uh, we're not doing children's church? I said, no. He said, well, all the children are going to be bored. <laughs> then he said, Dad, tell me what, what you're going to talk about. I start talking. 
He said, I'm already bored. <laughs> I said, son, I'll pray about it. <laughs> we good, Gabe. He said, we'd be good if I go to children's church. All right. The Bible says God loves cheerful giver. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Come on, our church. I'm on a time. I, I'm, they watching my time. Frank got me down now, so I got to move. Everybody stand all over the building. Once we do this, there's one more off. Deacon Leffert is in the house. Can I tell y'all? He had surgery. Hip replacement. Look at him. He's standing. And he's looking good. Thank you, sir. And I want to say thank you, Colette, for pulling everything together. She did everything with the kids and with the staff. Thank you, daughter. I love you. I love you. Uh, amen. One of the youth is going to do the prayer. Amen. And so, uh, hello, my brother, my cousin. What's going on, man? I love you, man. <laughs> Yeah, go to, oh, that the other preacher. Come on, man. Uh, good morning, Usness. Uh, everybody bow your heads for a word of prayer. Uh, dear God, I thank you for allowing everyone to come here safely today, God. I pray that as we leave your house today, I pray that you, we have learned something, God. I thank you for covering us every, every moment of the day. I thank you for all the blessings that you have gave upon us, and I pray that you continue to bless us in and out of your house. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. There are a number of ways to give. Thank you so much, Amari. I appreciate that. He has that voice. Oh, man. I mean, distinct. Um, there are a number of ways to give. There are QR codes that are on the screen. You can uh, choose Givelify, PayPal, Cash App. Uh, amen. Checks are cash in the room. Uh, Tanika will be in the corner. She'll take any debit card to read. If you want to give via debit card, she'll be in the corner over there. Uh, bottom line is, uh, however you give, give as unto the Lord that he might bless your way of giving and your method. We're going to begin with each side from the rear as the ushers are positioned in the house. And then we'll begin uh, as well. We'll come to the middle once we take the sides out first. So begin from each side from the rear. Bring your gifts. Each side from the rear. Give your best gift. Center out from the rear. Bring your gifts. Just join the angel. 
we're going to do this. Um, come on, son. Individual uh, had wanted to give his first fruit. I want to go on and bless that and get that uh, taken care of. You know your first fruit. Just make sure that everything else that follows is blessed. Uh, it's just that right there. Never mind. Right in the middle. Amen. Are there any other first fruit? Let me get that first. Make that acknowledgement. Thank you. They're establishing a shift in their financing and their, their finances and their giving. And I honor God for what he's doing and how he's doing it. The Bible says that we are to bring our first fruit really at the end of the day so that his favor would rest on our lives. Proverbs, th the third chapter says, uh, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, even as you prepare and give this first fruit on Resurrection Sunday. Know that there is no way at the end of the day that anything that would come after this space but blessings. There's nothing but blessings. I believe that. And I believe that you believe that as well, Sylvia. So, Father God, I ask that as they come and they give their offering, first fruit offering specifically, that you would bless God even the desires of their hearts. God, I'm asking that you would make crooked places straight high places low. Release a double portion of anointing and blessings upon them. May every place the sole of their feet tread upon be blessed and favored. Bless their families. Bless their children. Bless all that they do to bring glory to the kingdom. I see you, Jennifer, the blessings of the Lord upon you and Janaya. May everything that God has planned for you, he supply. Every need be supplied. I declare healing, deliverance, breakthroughs, and the promises of the Lord released on your life forever and ever. Now, God, as we wave this offering, Extend your blessings. Show yourself strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God praise. All right. Amen. Something happens in the room. Our hands go up. We can't wait to see what you're going to do when we speak your name. Power is released as we bow down before you. Every demon has to flee.
Yes, Lord, move how you want to move. To God be the glory. Andravi is in the house as well. God bless you, Andravi. Thank God for Cherie, Ariana. Thank God for you. Thank God for my daughter's essence. Amen. I think destiny. Okay, that's that's essence, right? Okay, all right. My, you my daughter. You know that, right? Okay. All right. Love y'all. It is, um, I got 15 minutes. Frank has got my time. Is that that? That is that you? That's my, that's, that's my other son by way of Ted Ackley. Amen. I love you, man. Is that your beautiful wife sitting? All right. Too much preliminary, Bishop. Okay, I, I felt you, Frank. All right. So I'm moving. Frank. <laughs> I'm messing with Frank. I love that. Um, the word of the Lord is he's given it to, to share will come from the gospel of Matthew, the 28th chapter. If you'll go there with me, Matthew, the 28th chapter. We're going to begin reading with Ephesians, verse 18 and 19. The gospel of Matthew, the 28th chapter. Verses 18 and 19. When you find it, please stand to your feet or follow us on the screen as it is um, prominently displayed. Let's read it, if you will, together. Ready, set, read. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It is indeed the word of the Lord. Thanks be unto God. I want to talk about the power of the resurrection, the power of the resurrection. And I solicit your prayers, please. On well, last week, we talked about grace at Gethsemane. It was a crushing place, a, an oil press, and there we see where Jesus agonized over his impending death. Specifically, he asked the Father, Father, if you would, Maybe we can find some other way to do this. Um, he was intent. He was deep. He was determined. If possible, Pastor Donnie, uh, let this cup pass from me. But he resolved in the final analysis, not uh, my will, Devin, but thy will be done. He concluded in the final analysis that whatever the father determined was what was best for him. And I want to I want to use this particular thought as I even ponder that and surmise that statement. And here is the thought, the way is over. It's about to get better. And for somebody that showed up today, I need you to know that you showed up on the right Sunday. You showed up at the right place and you showed up with the right objective and motives. Understand me when I say to you specifically, it's about to get better. Can I get somebody? Jesus, Jesus was determined and he deemed father whatever your will is let that be done and if we would let the Lord's will be done we'd be a whole lot better off then he culminated his death Declaring from the cross, Luke, 
chapter 23, verse 46, he says, Father, into thy hand I commend my spirit. The word for commend is paratathemai. It means to place besides or to deposit. In other words, he's saying, Pastor Rice, I'm yielding myself to you. The word really, commend, denotes I'm making a deposit. If you would make me a deposit for somebody's deliverance, if you would make me a deposit for somebody's healing, if you would be so kind, make me a deposit for somebody's breakthrough. Make me a deposit for somebody's salvation. Make me a deposit for somebody's revival. Make me a deposit. Jesus is talking. Lord, not my will. I'm, I'm commending this to you. Make me a deposit for somebody's redemption. The Bible says after he stated that, Sister Anderson, he gave up the ghost. He surrendered his spirit. He died. He became our deposit, our sacrifice so that we might live the abundant life. He became, come on, repeat that with me. He became my deposit. He became my deposit. That, 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 that means that, that his sacrifice was a setup for me. Well, what he gave, how he gave it was so that I could uh, prosper and be uh, blessed and favored in especially difficult situations. He became my deposit. And the Bible says, verse 47 of chapter 23, that he... There was a centurion standing by, a Roman soldier that was in charge that saw what was done. The Bible says this, this centurion glorified God. Wait. A centurion. A Roman soldier glorified God. A foreigner, a stranger, a man that had no religious affiliation saw the conversation and made a response at the cross. He glorified God. Come on, somebody. And, and I would come surmise on this day that if a foreigner can glorify God, if a foreigner can magnify God, if a foreigner that had no affiliation with uh, religion can, could glorify God, we who declare that we are believers, we who declare that we've been set free, we who declare that we are the redeemed of the Lord, ought to be able to glorify God. I, I need about 25 of y'all to get this in the Holy Ghost. I don't know about nobody else, but 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 if it comes at the end of the day to between me and glorifying God, I've got to I got to give him glory. Daniel, I've got to give him glory because after all he's done for me, after bringing me from dangers seen and unseen, I've got to give him glory. Is there anybody else in here? The Lord has done anything for you and you can't help yourself, MacArthur. For Johnson, but to give him glory, I got to give him glory. I showed up on the Easter Resurrection Sunday morning to give him glory because he's been better than good to me. Come on, slap your neighbor, high five, say neighbor, he's been better than good to me. 
the Amplified says that he recognized God and he thinked and he praised God. Zavion, he praised God. He praised God because at the end of the day, he recognized that Jesus hanging on the cross wasn't just anybody. He wasn't just a regular run-of-the-mill individual. He recognized that there was something about Jesus. During the crucifixion, the, uh, the Bible says that it turned dark as the night. Yet he was able uh, in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of the crucifixion, he was able to glorify God. Can I get somebody that you're in the midst of the things that you've been in experience, the, in the midst of all of your struggle and your strain trying to live your best life. Hallelujah. Sometimes darkness come and I've got to I've got to give him a praise because 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 I'm still Daniel I'm still here I'm still alive can we lady yet praise God while in the middle of a difficult day in a dire dilemma can I get somebody here he glorified God and then Ryan Patrick Parker the Bible says that he cried out specifically he declared especially surely God I feel God in this room maybe I'm the only one surely this man is a righteous man. He's innocent. He, he looks, he, I perceive him to be the son of the living God. He's just, he's innocent. Can I get somebody? Amen. Matthew the 27th chapter, the 54th verse. He declared truly. Yes, he, Tanya, he is the son of God. That's why we ought to praise him because who he is, who he is. Can I get somebody here? He's truly the, the son of God. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, after this, the Bible says they took him down from the cross, uh, gave his body to Joseph of Arimathea, uh, wrapped him in clean linen cloths, uh, placed him in a new tomb. Uh, they then sealed the tomb, uh, set the tomb, set guards over the tomb to ensure that his body would not be taken. And then they set a watch. Hallelujah. Because they remembered, he said, after three days, oh God, my hair is standing on my head. He said, I will rise again. Is there anybody in here that can testify he did raise, he was raised, yeah. yeah he says, I'll rise again. So here it is, after the Sabbath, Mary, Mary showed up at the grave where they had laid Jesus. And the Bible says, God, my hair, I feel it in on fire, yeah, he, uh, the Bible says he, hallelujah, they got to the tomb. When they got there, Cherie, Ariana, an angel was there. And he said to them, who are you looking for? The one that was crucified? Thank you, Jesus. He is no longer here. God, I thank you. Some That's a shout right there. He's no longer at a place where you last saw him. Something shifted. 
something changed. Something moved. Something happened. I dare you to give your neighbor high fives and neighbor. Something changed. For somebody this morning, I need you to know, oh God, that I, I, I declare it in this house. God is changing some things for you. He's shifting Hallelujah. Some things for you. And the text says, he says, verse 6, chapter 28, the gospel of Matthew said again, he is not here. He is risen just as he said. Come see where he laid. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And when they got to the place where he lay, they found a napkin, yes, neatly folded, indicating he was done with that day, but he was going to come back again. Can I get somebody here? And this gave them three things that I'd like to consider as we consider the power of the resurrection. Number one, the resurrection gives us assurance. Somebody shout assurance. Uh, that trouble don't last always. Can I get about 25,000 of y'all? Oh, you'll testify, neighbor. Oh, everything that looks a certain way at the end of the day. Hallelujah. It, it's not the way it looks. I have an assurance that regardless of what we face, we have the power to overcome. Come on, prophesy now to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you can overcome everything that caused the Jews to be, or Jesus to be anxious in Gethsemane was relieved at the resurrection. Did you hear what I just said? I said, what caused him to be anxious at Gethsemane? Oh God, the resurrection released that anxiousness. It relieved that anxiousness. And I need to give somebody else assurance today that if you trust the Lord, he will bring you out. If you trust the Lord, he will give you peace in the midst of a storm. He'll give you joy. Somebody just shouted, he'll give you joy in the time of sorrow. He'll give you hope when you feel hopeless. I need for you to know that you can make it if you keep your hands in the Lord's hands. There is nothing too hard for him. Anybody in this room can testify that there is nothing too hard for my God. Not only does resurrection give us Lynn assurance, but resurrection Kim gives us uh, an anointing. Jesus informed his followers in Luke 24 and 49 after he was resurrected that they should tarry, wait in Jerusalem until they were in with power from on high. In other words, they would have the ability to do amazing and incredible things because of the power of God that was made available to them. There was an anointing that would give them an ability. Did you hear what I just said? There was an anointing that would give them an ability. Here it is. You do know that the anointing is, the, yes, the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. 
It is God using you to do himself in the earth. Okay, y'all didn't hear what to yourself. You to do him in the earth. You sometimes are the only Bible that people will see. Question when they read you. What are they reading? What is it that you are conveying? What are you displaying? What are you releasing? Come on, look at your neighbors and read me, baby. Read me. Hallelujah. I submit to you this Resurrection Sunday that a fresh anointing is coming upon you and the body of Christ. Did you hear what I just said? Somebody received that in the Holy Ghost. A fresh anointing. When you get a fresh anointing, uh, that means a fresh wind is blowing your way. That, that means something special is happening within you. That God is going to, hallelujah, use you for his glory. This is a response to the conversation at the cross. I would have you to know if you're looking for something that's already here, the wait is over. Hallelujah. It's about to get better. And so the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, hallelujah, many of you understand tarrying. I've waited. You've waited for your change to come. Holly forgot to do something, but I showed up on this resurrection Sunday morning to declare and to decree that it's already done. You're anointed to handle whatever comes your way. Finally, there's the assignment. I submit to you that there's work to be done. The Bible says after the resurrection, Jesus spent some time with his disciples, instructing them on what they were to do next. He says to them in the 18th chapter, 18th verse, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Is that in your Bible? Uh, yeah, you, you will have a God that has all power. Yeah, God, I told you it's about to get better. If you understand that he has all power, you understand that there's nothing you're going through that he can't work out. He has all God from Zion, all power. You don't need to be weary in well-doing because you have a God on your side that's greater than what's coming against you. Come on, somebody. Oh, God, a year ago, Daniel can testify that because God, his hands were on me. Oh, he protected me from harm and harm's way. Oh, God, I need y'all now to get happy in the Holy Ghost. Uh, grab your neighbor hand and shake it uh, like you're going to shake it off. Uh, God, y'all ain't did it yet. Y'all looking at me. Uh, shake their hands and say, neighbor, uh, we have a God uh, that has all uh, power uh, in his hand. Uh, holla, we have a Savior that has, uh, yeah, he has all uh, power in his hand. You, you don't understand. I feel this thing. Somebody shout all power in his hand. While you're trying to figure it out, God has all killed. He's all, yes. He's already worked it out. Somebody shout all. All power. Power to pick you up, power to turn you around, power 
wrong with that. Y'all ain't said nothing. Power to give you, yes, some hope. Is there anybody in here that understand that when you live and come under, hallelujah, the unction of the power of God, that you know that all things are working together for your good. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's already all right. You don't have to wait till the trial is over, till the test is done. It's, yes, it's all working together for your good. Yeah! All right, I feel God. Yeah, yes, He's working it. Hallelujah! You don't have to be weary. You don't have to grow faint. Just hang on in there. Tell your neighbor neighbor be encouraged because the God of all power is on your side when you have God on your side the enemy becomes your footstool in other words God's going to use the enemy to promote you he's going to use your haters to advance you. You better shout trouble over because my God is more than able to make his grace abound. Somebody shout all, all power. The kind of power that'll connect you to the right person that's going to cause his blessings to flow your way. I came today to remind believers that God is already solved all of your problems. He's already paid for every hallelujah situation that's come to try to make you give up and throw in the towel. Tell Lottie Dottie and everybody I won't give up. I won't quit. Hallelujah. The Lord is on my side. And if you know the Lord on your side, hallelujah, ain't no way you can lose. If the Lord's on your side, he'll turn midnight in today. He will kill you beauty for ashes you cried your last tear yesterday it's a brand new day it's a brand new start fresh wind fresh anointing is flowing blowing over this house because my Savior is in charge. He win. What am I? You don't understand. Had the devil known what he did in crucifying the Lord of glory. He never would have crucified him too late. You killed him. 
you hung him high, stretch him wide, died, but early, look at your neighbor, give him a high five, say neighbor, early, Sunday morning, got up, You don't have to wait any longer. He got up with all power in his hand. Watch this. And the best is yet to come just like you saw him leave he will return and those of us that die in Christ will get up too but if we remain when he returns we will be caught up wait wait bishop oh that's good I hear you hollering but what you say there is an assurance that there is a power at work for you that's working in you to do what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of the Father. Not only is there an assurance, come on, look at your neighbor and say, it's going to be all right. There is an anointing. That's going to break everything that's been trying to eat you up. Every diagnosis ain't no match for the power of God that's in you. Somebody shout an anointing. Hallelujah. What the anointing does... Uh, it, it that it draws the people that's drawn to you God has assigned for you because of the anointing on you hallelujah um, hear this um, if he ain't yours he's not going to be drawn to you Okay. <laughs> she, she's not going to be drawn to you. But if it's that anointing that's going to draw them, is that Mother Betty Crutcher? That's the anointing that's going to keep it. Wait. You want an anointing to draw because that's that's the kind that's 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 going to keep. If you went out there in your own emotions and your own flesh, they walk away from you. Can I get somebody here? But but when it's a God assignment, a God anointing, it'll keep. Somebody look at your neighbor and say it'll keep. Watch this. Here's the assignment. He says, uh, go ye therefore, teach all nations. I got an assignment for you. That wherever you go, whatever you do, you have a responsibility to declare and decree this gospel. Let people know that I don't care what you're dealing with, you can make it. You can not only survive, but you can thrive. And, and for everybody in this house that have made up in their mind, you're not going to settle. You're not going to. Uh, you're not going to digress. You're going to progress in this hour. Especially after recognizing 
that our God has all power. There's nothing too hard for him. Everybody stand. We got to get out of here. I need to open the doors of the church. Let a candidate for baptism and Christian experience watch care. He ought to come. Jesus says, whosoever will, let him come. And I will in no wise cast out. Some of you have been struggling with yourself. Amen. But you know that the Lord has kept you thus far along the way. And this is a special day to really just give your life to Christ. Submit your life to Christ. And whether you're, you're, you've been baptized, saved, but you need to find a church home, a covenant place that you can grow in the grace of God, then he's tugging on your heart. And he says, whatever you're dealing with, I have the instructions. I have the information. I have the inspiration that's going to help you fight through it. The doors are open. Come. Come, keep clapping while they come. Come on. The doors are open. Come, come. Online. There's a QR code online as well. Keep clapping. Come on. As they come, believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's about to make a change that you've been needing for a long time. Let him do it. Yeah, let him do it. Let him make that change. Let him fill you with a fresh anointing, some fresh oil. May fresh wind blow your way. Come on. The doors are open. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. The doors are open. Hallelujah. He wants to do for you that which only he can do. He can do. Come on. Come on, the doors are open. I, I haven't closed them. He hasn't closed them. They've been open for over 2,000 years. They'll never be closed. The doors are open. Oh, there's no greater love. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Come on, y'all, give God praise. Oh, 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 there he is, there he is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 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 Lord, yeah. Jesus went Calvary, save a wretch like you and oh. Yeah, yeah. Save a wretch. Mm -hmm. Oh, love. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Trust him away. God be the glory. Listen, we have today uh, the coming for membership, Sidney Johnson. Amen, Sidney. I've been talking with him for a long time. Caleb Younger, 
Amen. Already saved, already he a preacher. Let me just say that, by the way. Amen. To God be the glory. And then Tajani is coming to dedicate our baby. Amen. Can, can we do that? I'm going to do that right now. Hallelujah. The baby's name is Tajani. Okay. Hey, baby. Oh, give God praise for these. Yeah. They'll give you information for the rest of the worship experience. To God be the glory. Gabe, you all right? Uh, okay. He went like that. MacArthur, he, he all right? He gone? Oh, okay. This is my timekeeper, too. MacArthur Johnson. Father, we bless your name. We might leave this place, but not your presence. Now bless all of these that have assembled in this place. May even as they leave this place, your glory will be released upon them. Bless them immeasurably, and we'll be careful to give you praise. Amen and amen. I want to say a couple things. Uh, if you want to sow a resurrection seed, you can do that and place it at the altar. Over in the impact center, uh, amen, we have gifts, goodies for our kids, all of the kids, amen. So please make sure they go by the impact center so that they can partake of the all. Oh, it's in the vestibule. All right, y'all don't have to go over there. Y'all can just go back there. For God, for that we give God praise. Consider all of you yourselves dismissed. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Uh, the wait is over. T -t -t Tell them the best is yet to come. You ain't seen. Tell them you ain't seen. You ain't seen nothing yet. Tell them, you ain't.